are in the QBO Gym, and the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real-life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios, and to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you're looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you'd like to do a deep dive and do some of these on your own, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. But let's go ahead and get started with today's exercise, which is coming from our April year one cool down section. At the top here is an animated video to give you an understanding of what you, the bookkeeper, will be doing for your client, Craig, this month. Below that is an interactive pre-assessment quiz that relates to the video up above. Below that are the exercises in this section. And then after you have completed them, you will unlock some sample marketing posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's get into today, to today's exercise where we're going to practice running Craig's reports. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pulled up. I have it over here on the right side of my screen, so let's read through our scenario. After you have reconciled your bank statements, it's time to run reports. You'll create a P&L or profit and loss and balance sheet for Craig. And since you'll be doing this every month, you'll want to save time by setting up a recurring schedule to email them to him. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left side of my screen. This is the dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started with today's exercise. We'll start by creating the P&L or profit and loss report for Craig. Note that your numbers may be a little bit different depending on what exercises you have completed prior to running this report. Don't worry if they are different than what you see on my screen. The purpose is just to go through and make sure you know how to actually run these reports and send them. So on the left navigation bar, we're going to click on reports and then click on profit and loss. So the left navigation bar is over here. We're going to click on reports. And then under favorites, you're going to select profit and loss. Um, if you get any pop-ups of uh, feedback uh, pop-ups, just go ahead and click out of those. So let's go ahead and click on that profit and loss. Now in a, excuse me, now in a real life scenario, you would run these as monthly reports. However, running them the, for the last month in the sample company will result in different report depending on the day that it is run. So we need to run them for all dates. So just keep that in mind that we're doing it for the purposes of this exercise, not necessarily what you would do for clients if they are looking for a monthly profit and loss. So in the report period field, we're going to select all dates. So scroll back here, this is the report period field, click into that box, select all dates, and then go ahead and click on run report. Now in order to send this report to Craig on a schedule, you will need to save it as a customized report. So we're going to click on save customization, which is on the top of the report. Here is this green button, go ahead and click on that. Now you can add this to a report group and then everything that in that group will be emailed to Craig. So let's go ahead and click on add a new group to create a new one. That is this blue wording right here. In the new group name field, let's type monthly reports. So click into that box right there, type monthly reports. And then go ahead and click on add. Notice that QBO automatically added this report to the new group. So we're going to go ahead and click on save, click on this uh, save right down here. And now it has saved successfully and we have finished the profit and loss. So let's go back now and work on the balance sheet. Click on balance or back to report list that is right here. Now the balance sheet will create a balance sheet so that Craig can see the totals for his accounts. Once again, your numbers may be a little bit differently here, but that's okay. We're just trying to go through how the steps on how to run these reports. So go ahead and click on balance sheet that is under the favorites right here. 
in the report period field. Again, for this exercise, we're going to make sure um, it has all dates included. So in the report period field, click into this box, select all dates, and then go ahead and click on run report. Once again, in order to send this report to Craig on a schedule, we need to save it as a customized report. So click on save customization here at the top on the green button. And then in the add this report to a uh, to group field, we are going to select monthly reports. So click on that drop down right here, select monthly reports, and then you can go ahead and click on save. And you will notice that that custom report has now been saved successfully. So now that the reports have been saved as customized reports, they can be scheduled to send to Craig on a monthly basis. So we're going to go back to that report center. So click um, from the navigation bar, we're going to click on reports to go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click on the custom reports tab. And now we can see our monthly report group that has both the balance sheet and the profit and loss included. Um, so notice that the balance sheet and profit and loss reports are displayed in the monthly reports folder, as I mentioned. We will need to edit this to schedule the email. So let's click on edit next to unscheduled on this monthly reports line. We're going to click on the slider to set the email schedule that is right here. So click on that. The repeats field, we want to select monthly because remember he is sending this on a month. We are sending this to him on a monthly basis. So go ahead and click on that down arrow, select monthly. Now notice that you can send these reports to anyone via their email address. They do not need to have QBO or an Intuit account. You can do it right here. Notice too that you have the option to attach the file as an Excel spreadsheet. If you do not check this box, they will send as a PDF. Um, that is down here, my video screen is covering it, but there is a box down here that says attach the report as an Excel file. If you click on that box, you would send it as an Excel file. So since we cannot actually set this up in the sample company, we're going to click cancel um, to get out of this, but this is how you would schedule that report going to Craig every single month. And as you can see here, you can always adjust the wording here. You can adjust this here. There is um, you know, the ability to change what day of the month it would go to, um, if you want it to continue to do, or if you want it to end um, on a certain time. Lots of flexibility here with customizing this. So let's go ahead and get out of it. There is a cancel on the bottom left corner. My video screen is uh, covering it, but go ahead and click on cancel. But that is it. That is how you would run reports and then how you would schedule them to go to Craig every single month. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. We have finished the April issue of the QBO Gym. Congratulations, you did a great job. Keep on practicing and be on the lookout for the May issue. And I will see you then.